Coach Barry and the Tigers ran the table last season in the SIAC, going undefeated in the conference, winning the SIAC championship. And you already know, they're not looking to take their foot off the gas this upcoming season because they're looking to repeat, on it. But you know what? The crazy thing is Coach Barry lost a few players during the offseason because, you know, one, uh, he didn't have any more eligibility left. And then the other, he just said, hey, I need me a change. But when change happens like this, Coaches got to be ready to make the necessary moves to continue to keep moving that program forward. And the young man that they're looking to bring in the program definitely can do just that. And we're going to talk about him right after this. You know, it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down. About to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Lee Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all the upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in the friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's number positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on in this thing and get straight to it. Because I know you're like, Coach, wait a minute. He lost some players. He had a player that went to uh, the transfer portal. He lost one player that went, uh, didn't have any more eligibility left. Well, what he got going on over there? Well, listen. Let me be honest with you. When you go undefeated, the team is ready to run it back and keep that thing moving forward. But sometimes you have a couple of players in there that say, you know what? I ain't quite feeling this. I think I want to bust a move and do something different. And this one young man, he decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, take my talents elsewhere because he want to go hit a bigger, brighter stage. He had a great season last year. So you really can't get mad at him about it. But as I stated previously, Benedict College, they lost a few players like quarterback Lampley. They lost him due to him being a grad transfer when he came in from Southern University in which he doesn't have any eligibility left. However, however, when you lose your starting quarterback, Mr. Eric Phoenix, who is now a, who will now be a grad transfer himself, he decided he wanted to go to the transfer portal himself. And I got to get his young man his props. He had a pretty daggone good season last year. He threw the ball 260 times, completing 167 for 2,051 yards. He had 15 touchdowns and six interceptions. Now, when it was announced that this young man was hitting the transfer portal, I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I was like, okay. I'm, I, and the thing was, I thought the young man had more than just the, I believe, the grad year that's coming up. I thought he had another year after that as far as eligibility, but he doesn't. But... Coach Barry, he understands how the game goes. He's been around this thing long enough to say, hey, listen, I understand these young men, they're going to come and go. I got to go ahead and focus on the program at hand, make sure we move this thing forward. And he got a young man that's coming into this bad boy that I'm telling you right now. He's going to be he's gonna be a pretty daggone nice, he's going to be a nice quarterback. Coach. He gonna, excuse me, he's going to be a nice addition coming into the program. Now, this young man, he played high school football at Western Alamance High School in Elon, North Carolina. Now, he was considered... A two-star recruit, dual star, was a dual uh, threat quarterback with a big arm. This young man can throw that ball a ton. The young man that I'm talking about is none other than Kendall McCoy, six foot three, two hundred twenty pounds, and he played one game while at Gardner Webb University, who I believe they won the Big South Conference last year uh, championship. But this so, young man only having one game. I had to go back and check his film from high school. Y'all are y'all already know, coach. Go go back and look at the film from high school to see what this young man can do. And while playing at Western Alamance, I will stated that McCoy was a pro-style quarterback that can make all of the throws out there on the field. So when you get to talk about quarterbacks can make all the throws on the field, you know we got to go see what's going on, right? We got to check that deep ball, that out ball, them crossing routes. We want to check it all out. We want to see what you can do. But this young man can really throw that ball on the run as well as pull it down when he needs to, to take off to get those additional yards, to keep those chains moving out there on the field. Now, McCoy's ability to step up in the pocket and make that deep throw, that is a thing of beauty. You got to give him his props on that because this young man would definitely stand in that pocket and take that hit to get that ball down the field if he could get that ball to his receivers for him to catch a touchdown pass or for them to keep, move, keep moving that ball. He not only that, but this young man's ball placement is something to really marvel at. This young man can fit balls through windows that will have you scratching your head saying, wait a minute, how in the heck did he make this throw? Now, I'm going to be honest, this was definitely a great pickup for Coach Barry in the Benedict uh, Tigers football program. Understanding that Coach Barry is going to have the Benedict Tigers football program 
prepared to compete next season again in that SIAC uh, conference to get back and win that championship again is something that you got to really sit down and pay attention to. Coach Barry has been in these trenches for years, coaching on different pro coaching at different programs, putting his best foot forward, making sure that they had the athletes that were coming into the program and they were able to coach those athletes up to get them ready to move things in a manner in which he's looking to move them. Once again, trust and believe Coach Barry is going to have Benedict ready to get out there and get after it again this upcoming season. I got to say congratulations to Kendall McCoy on signing with Benedict College. Damn, I got to sit in my eye. Congratulations to Kendall McCoy on signing with the Benedict College Tigers football program. And definitely look forward to seeing you guys get out there and do some great things this upcoming season. But guys, until next time, be the one and lead.